Drugs, soldiers, and a teenage girl dead on post. New details are now emerging in that girl's mysterious death. Como Force Joel Marino reports now a Fort Lewis soldier is in deep trouble. Joel? Uh, Kathy and Eric, investigators say that soldier brought Leah King and her teenage girlfriend back to his room where they used a rolled up dollar bill to snort prescription pills that had been crushed into a powder. Well, Leah King died from those drugs and that soldier is now charged with involuntary manslaughter. Family members say 16 year old Leah King just wanted to fit in. Her grandmother shared this photo with us and told me off camera people took advantage of Leah's need to belong. Leah died from a drug overdose in a Fort Lewis Army barrack three weeks ago. Military prosecutors say her boyfriend, a 19-year-old soldier, gave her the drugs that killed her. At least some of these drugs were crushed and inhaled in powder form through the nose using a rolled dollar bill. The colonel says Private Today Timothy Bennett crushed up antidepressants with painkillers for Lee and her girlfriend to snort. He now faces one count of involuntary manslaughter. Bennett is also charged with selling pot and prescription pills to fellow soldiers. Charges were also preferred against Private Bennett related to additional cases of distribution to other soldiers. Army investigators say Bennett drove Leah and her friend onto the post the night of February 15th. They say he never signed them in at the barracks, a violation of the rules. The Army has since revamped its policy, requiring minors to sign in at the visitor center and denying access to those who don't have a legitimate reason to be on post. There are also increased checks on soldier barracks. Well, at this point in time, we think we have taken the appropriate measures to address what happened to Leia King. Now, as of this afternoon, Private Bennett remained with his unit. We're waiting to hear from a magistrate who is going to rule on whether Bennett would be essentially jailed in a pre-trial confinement kind of situation. If he is convicted of these charges, he could be uh, he could face 82 years in prison, as well as receive a dishonorable discharge. Reporting live here at Fort Lewis, Joel Marino, Como 4 News. All right, thanks a lot, Joel.